Hello YouTubers, this is Save Man and Joe once again. Hey, this is the second round of a Flashback Friday kind of edition. Um, if you saw the first video, we opened up the first half of the 1991 Flare Ultra. This is a, I guess, hobby box uh, box that was produced or back there in 1991. Now in this one, you're going to be looking, we were looking for the Brett Favre rookie, which, hey, like I said, I'm looking for something to grade. Now, unfortunately, I, I picked up some issues right here with on the side with some chipping on the back. The front looks flawless. I'm not going to lie. Front, the front looks nice, well-centered, but the back is, is the issue. Um, so, uh, again, I'm looking for, looking for something I can grade. So, hopefully, hey... We're going to open up the second part of the box. See what we got. All right. Here we go. Now, like I said, these are a fun rip. I mean, if, you, if you're a set collector, uh, this is like the perfect thing for you. It, this, Like I said, if you watch the other video, part one, you know that, hey, it didn't cost me hardly any money. There we go. Cleveland Gary. Um, so... Hopefully, you know, it's something that I can get a, a set out of. I, you know, I'll put them into a binder, go from there, uh, start sort, sorting them through and kind of go from there. There we go, Godfrey Miles. Okay, looking for the rookies. And what we're looking for are the ultra stars as well. So the rookies right there, and then these are the ultra stars that we're looking for. Right here, which probably five, maybe six to a box at the most. You know, so, it, and then rookies, like I said, I'm actually kind of, kind of glad we got a hold of a Favre early, because I don't know if we're going to get another one in the second half. There we go, we got a Montana, right there. Again, I don't know what the value of grading a lot of the stars from here. Mike Wilcher, see, like I said, I, I'm collecting my, my PC hits, you know, so, and, and there will be a... Here we go, Marino. There will be a pattern that'll start kind of, you'll kind of start noticing for every, let's say for every Mike Wilcher, you're going to get an Ernie Mills. There we go, Ernie Mills, the ultra draft pick right there. And right after that, you're going to get a Leonard Smith. Uh, especially with Fleer back in the day. Uh, a lot was said with patterns, the, the way the pattern was back then, especially with the old basketball. So like for every, I, I don't know, for instance, for every, Charles Barkley that you saw, you'd get a Jordan in that same pack or in that relatively within that. Here we go. Boom. Nice. There we go. So now we know we if we end up with a John Raid. Before that, we're going to end up with a Brett Favre. Like I said, again, this is, this is just a pattern that as collectors back then, we started picking up on. Now, back in the day, I was buying these for about... 30 bucks a box. So, you know, um, I bought a couple here and there. I put a couple of sets together. Had a, a Favre that I had sent to BGS way back in the day. And ended up grading a 9 mint. So, you know, okay. Not bad. I think I ended up selling it, to be very honest with you, for like maybe 40 bucks. There, let's see. So it doesn't shine everywhere. Okay, there we go. So we got two of them there. Let's get another. I know I'm getting greedy or what have you, but hey, man, let's get another. This is the, these are the, that's the card that you want in this, in this set right here, the ultra set, is the Brett Favre. You want to see what you can get to get it graded. So, you know, let's go through. And like I said, I don't know what the value of getting the stars graded would be. There we go, Kevin Green. There's my PC, another one. Um, like I said, for instance, like the Steve Young, what would be the value of pulling a Steve Young or having that graded? Because, again, you're not going to send it to PSA at, was it $100 for regular service now per card? Maybe you send it to SGC, maybe, you know, at $35 a card or what have you. Um Maybe to an HGA, maybe, or maybe a bulk order to CSG 
anything like that. But it's going to be a long time. It's going to be a long wait on those things. So here we go. Got our second John L. Williams. That is our first of this half of the Ultra All-Stars. And Randall Hill is our rookie. Here we go. So, like again, we pulled three, four, four All Stars so far from this box. They're not scarce, scarce, but they're not plentiful either. Here we go, Ezra Tuolo, is our rookie. So let's see if you end up getting essentially see like a John Elway. You know, what's the value of getting that graded? Like I said, you're going to get a lot of cards. Um, you possibly, probably will, will get a full set. Possibly, if not, pretty close to two sets. So, we'll trade away. Uh -huh. Oh, there we go. Kevin Green. That's a PC from myself right there. See, and that's what I mean. I... That's the cards that I'm going for right there. Nick Bell. You know, the rookies are nice. Um, again, not a whole lot of recognizable names out of that 91 draft other than Brett Hart. So, you know. So you get a lot of Hall of Famers in here. The Anthony Munoz one, that's a Hall of Famer, you know. Don Mikowski, speaking of the magic man, right there. Riggs, Wade Wilson. Hey, look, it's Deadpool. Dalton Hilliard. <laughs> so, you know. Worley. You're going to get some Hall of Famers. There we go. Speaking of Hall of Famer right there. There's our second one of Daryl Green. If you saw the first video, you know my opinion about him. Here we go, Mike Pritchard. Now, this kid, this guy, my age or what have you, but I remember the whole draft process that um, homeless, living out of, a, out of his car with his mom, um, played football, got a scholarship, I mean, was a first-rounder. There's a lot of stories like that, man, in the NFL. Ricky Waters, there we go. See, Hall of Famer, Ray Chiltress, Marcus Allen. See, there's a Steve Atwater. A lot of um, Hall of Famers in this set. So, like I said, if you collect Hall of Famers, if you, there's Dill Wig, speaking of, you know, uh, if you collect Hall of Famers, anything like that, any kind of card of theirs, this is a very inexpensive way of obtaining a card of those individuals, you know. So... Again, depending on where you go, how much you can get it for, if you can find them. So they, they, I, I think they're plentiful, but I, again, I don't know where everyone is from is getting. Or there we go, Pat Harlow. Um, how plentiful it's going to be still in certain parts of the country or the world that matter for where you're going to be able to find ninety one Flare Ultra, you know. Hopefully we get one more. So I, who knows? Okay, Russell Maryland. Hey, that was the number one overall pick right there, Russell Maryland of the '91 draft. He was the number one overall. He went to Seattle. Uh, no, wait, no. I'm sorry, Seattle. I'm sorry. He went to the Dallas Cowboys. What the? What am I saying? Yeah, that's right. I'm, I'm thinking Cortez Kennedy. Mark Vanderpool, you know, so, but yeah, Maryland, Russell Maryland was a, a, an anvil in that whole little defensive line. There we go. Speaking of anvil, Junior Seau. So, I, I'm sorry about that. Here we go. Charles Haley. Talk about a Hall of Famer there. What's he got? Five Super Bowl rings? Three, I want to say he's got three with the Niners, and then... Two with the Cowboys. There we go. Stefan Page. He said Fresno Zone. 
Jared Bunch. Jerry Rice. Jerry Gray. Uh -huh. You know who I have not pulled yet? I have not pulled my favorite quarterback of that of that time period, and that was Jim Everett. Have not pulled a Jim Everett yet. You know, that's kind of a trail. Oh, Barry Sanders. Again, but I have not pulled a Jim Everett. There you go, Pat Carter. Huh. Hmm, weirder and weirder. What, did they pull all the Jim Everett's out? <laughs> so, you know, Mo Gardner. Again, but that's kind of, I have not. Now, Jim Everett was a very, like Jim Kelly. I haven't pulled a Jim Kelly either. So, you know, these quarterbacks were, I guess, the popular quarterbacks back in the day. So, possible, you know, possible that very short printed kind of guys. Look at the stack we're getting. Like I said, if you're a set builder, if you like to put things Lego style together, there you go. I'm going to get the other stack from... Yeah, I did that one right there. From the first half of the box that I pulled. And that way you can see exactly how much card. There we go, Dan McGuire. That's another... That This is Mark McGuire's brother. He wasn't first overall pick as well with uh, the Seattle Seahawks. So what was he? Six foot, six foot eight, something like that. Six foot nine, something like that. So uh, again, there we go, Randall Cunningham. Um, just a different set of quarter. They were Burn Brostick uh, of quarterbacks, and that hey didn't pan out. There we go. And last pack, LT, the only real LT, Lawrence Taylor, right there. Oh, no, there we go. Ooh, shoot. We totally forgot the Herman Moore, which, hey, pretty good receiver himself. Keith Sherman, Charles Haley, Emmett Smith. See, again, this is a second year Emmett Smith, you know. Jim Everett, speaking of, right there. There we go. Huh, on the last pack. And Aaron Cox. All right, man, we finished up with a Ram, and we ended up getting my favorite quarterback of that time period. All right. So, hey, here we go. Just to give you that comparison of what, what you're going to get. Okay. With the rookies. And with the stars, plus the two in the back, that's what you're going to get. That's the stack you're going to get for roughly 20 bucks. What better value can get that? You're going to get two, basically you're going to get two Brett Favre rookie cards in each one of them. That's 20 bucks. For like I said, hey, plus a second year Emmett Smith. So again, you tell me. Where there's a great value in this box. If you can get a hold of them, it's a fun little rip. Highly recommended. 91 Flare Ultra. So, hey, if you can find it, rip it. Have fun. This is Saban Man and Joe. Hey, I will get another video pretty soon. I'm trying to get boxes in. Again, it's very, I, the market's kind of lightening up. So, I boxes are sitting for a little while. So, hey, I'm trying not to pay as much. <laughs> so, all right, hey, again, everyone be safe out there. Um, We'll see you next time, and hey, everybody take it easy.